It's time once again to give you all the news that you want to hear and need to know because this is Agents of Geek TV. Everyone and welcome to issue number two of Agents of Geek TV. I'm your host, Mike San Gregorio. Let's get right into it with the geek headlines. Evangeline Lilly has been cast as the Ant-Man female lead. Now, nothing really has been confirmed yet as to whether she'll be playing Janet Van Dyne, aka the Wasp, an important figure in the whole Ant-Man mythos, or whether she'll be playing a brand new character. There are rumors, however, that she'll be playing Hank Pym's daughter, a brand new character created just for the Marvel Cinematic Universe that will play opposite of Paul Rudd's Scott Lang. Nothing has been confirmed yet, but keep your eyes on agentofgeek.com and we'll have more information as it develops. Paul Bettany is going to play the Vision in Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Now, no one really knows yet whether he's going to be playing a CGI version, or will he be in a costume? We'll have more information as it develops, but personally, I can't wait to see the voice of Jarvis become fully realized into a sentient life form by the evil Ultron played by James Spader. Age of Ultron is turning into a huge movie, and the scope of these Marvel Cinematic Universe's movies are just becoming bigger and bigger as time goes on. For years now, the development of the Preacher comic book series into a movie or television show has been in developmental hell for as long as it's been in production. But it's recently been confirmed that Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg will be developing a televised version for it on AMC. AMC, of course, has such series as The Walking Dead, another comic book franchise that was brought to life onto television. Who knows what AMC will bring to the table now that The Preacher with infamous characters such as Arseface, are going to be brought into real life on your TV. Another one that personally I can't wait for. I mean, we're going to have a television show with a character named Arseface. Arseface. After the news hit that Philip Seymour Hoffman tragically died in his New York City apartment, many fans of The Hunger Games were wondering, will he be able to show up in the third and final installment as his character plays an integral part to the role of Katniss? Well, it turns out that enough footage was filmed for his role to still be sufficient, even though there was only a week left of shooting for his character. And any scenes that will be required of him will be inserted digitally. Roland Emmerich's infamous blockbuster Independence Day has planned to have two sequels. But will Will Smith be involved? Well, turns out he's confirmed no. He will not be saying welcome to Earth to any more future Alien franchises. All the links to our stories and videos are provided below. And of course, log on to agentsofgeek.com for all your information on geek news, nerd culture, and everything that's just plain cool. For everyone here at agentsofgeek.com, I'm Mike Sangregorio. Follow me at Twitter on at Mike Sangregorio. And of course, log on to agentsofgeek.com every single day, all the time, 24-7, because you know you want to. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.